Skybit Sky Camera Installation. This video has several sections covering different installation scenarios for Sky Camera. Note that all Sky Camera installations require using the Skybit Sky Mobile app after the physical installation is completed, so be sure to watch the Sky Mobile section at the end. Install and activate the Connect prior to starting the Sky Camera installation. Please refer to the Skybits Connect installation video and instructions for details. Here are the tools you'll be using throughout this process. Pause on this screen to ensure you have everything necessary. A few important handling precautions when installing the Sky Camera. Leave the camera in protective packaging until just prior to installing. Do not touch the camera lens at any time during the installation process. Do not attempt to clean the camera lens unless instructed by Skybits. Here are the tools you'll be using throughout this process. Pause on this screen to ensure you have everything necessary. You'll also need these tools to determine loaded installation feasibility. Pause on this screen to ensure you have everything necessary. Please wear safety glasses and any other protective gear required by the rules of the installation facility. The Sky Camera will be mounted to the exterior roadside wall of the drive van near the rear of the trailer, about one inch down from the bottom of the top rail, and about 12 inches in front of the rear of the trailer. Wall posts, panel seams, rivets, vents, trailer tails, and customer logos or asset IDs may prohibit installation in this exact location. If any of these circumstances forces the installation to be outside the shaded area shown, you will need to contact Skybit's customer care for further instructions. Reminder, Never install on top of logos, asset IDs, vents, etc. Additionally, open the roadside door all the way to check for interference from the lock bar location. If the lock bars will hit the sky camera in the preferred location, move the sky camera location forward until it clears the lock bars. Also, confirm there will not be interference with any aerodynamic features of the trailer in either the deployed or stowed configuration. Sky camera will extend into the inside of the trailer. The inside view may vary based on whether it is a plate wall or sheet and post wall. The first step is to determine the wall thickness. You can usually determine the wall thickness from inside the trailer by measuring through an opening in the inner wall. Let's show installation on a trailer with a wall thickness of 3 quarters of an inch or less. Make sure the location of the Sky Camera centerline is at least 12 inches back from the wall post in front of it on the roadside wall of the trailer. Use the Sky Camera bracket as a template to mark the location of the bracket and the 1.75 inch camera hole. Drill the 1.75 inch hole for the camera and remove any burrs. Prep the surface where the VHB tape will be mounted. First, clean with IPA solution. Abrade lightly with Scotch Bright pad. Clean again with IPA solution. Prime with 3M Primer 94 and wait at least 3 minutes. Insert the Sky Camera Install tool into the hole. Remove the liner from all four pieces of VHB tape on the bracket. Align the camera hole in the Sky Camera mounting bracket with the tool. Ensure the bracket is vertical and press the bracket onto the trailer wall. Remove the Sky Camera Install tool. Using the bracket as a template, drill the 8 3 16 inch rivet holes in the trailer wall. Install the 8 3 16 inch rivets. Using a hand driver, secure the sky camera to the bracket with four 1032 tamper-proof screws. Important! Do not use power tools. Must use a hand driver. Remove the barcode label and tape from the sky camera and install the barcode label on the front of the trailer next to the seven-way connector. Next, use the Skybit Sky Mobile app to complete the installation process and confirm the installation was a success. But first, let's show how to install a sky camera if the wall thickness is greater than 3 quarters of an inch. As shown previously, use the bracket as a template to mark the location of the bracket and camera hole. Then drill the hole and remove any burrs and prep VHB tape mounting surface. Inside the trailer, mark the inner wall at least 10 inches below the sky camera hole and between the wall posts. Carefully cut the inner wall material away. Smooth the rough edges. Follow the steps as previously shown to complete the installation. Important! If the sky camera is less than 12 inches from the post, cover the exposed post with black duct tape. Next, use the Skybit Sky Mobile app 
To complete the installation process and confirm the installation was a success. We will get to that after explaining loaded trailer installations. It is preferable to install Sky Camera on an empty trailer, but sometimes that isn't possible. Let's review how to do loaded trailer installations. Sky Camera can only be installed on a loaded sheet and post trailer when the wall thickness is less than three quarters of an inch and there is no cargo against the wall of the camera opening. Use the Sky Camera bracket as a template to mark the location of the bracket and the 1.75 inch hole. The location is one inch down from the top rail and 12 inches from the rear of the trailer as shown previously. Do not drill the hole yet. Drill a one quarter of an inch diameter hole, one quarter of an inch deep, at the center of the 1.75 inch circle location. Use a drill stop to limit the drill depth to one quarter of an inch. Insert the 1 8 inch diameter probe into the quarter inch hole. If the probe contacts something, and the depth to it is 5 8 of an inch to 1 and a half inches, do not continue with the loaded install. The wall is too thick, and there is no inside wall liner, and the cargo is too close to perform a loaded install. Apply silicone sealant to the 1 4 inch hole. If the probe contacts something, and the depth is less than half an inch, then drill again using a 1 4 inch diameter drill bit set to a depth of 5 8 inch. Insert the 1 8 inch diameter probe into the 1 4 inch hole again, making sure it enters the second hole in the inner wall liner. If the probe stops at 5 8 of an inch, then the wall is too thick. Do not continue with the loaded install and apply silicone sealant to the 1 4 inch hole, as shown previously. If the probe contacts something and the depth to it is 3 4 of an inch to 1 and a half inches, then cargo is too close to the inner wall liner, so you cannot perform a loaded install. Do not continue with the loaded install and apply silicone sealant to the 1 4 inch hole as shown previously. If the probe continues for at least 2 inches, then the wall is less than 3 4 inches thick and there is no cargo close to the wall, and therefore, it is safe to perform the sheet and post wall installation. Now, let's determine if it is safe to install on a loaded plate wall trailer. The Sky Camera can only be installed on a loaded plate wall trailer when there is no cargo against the wall where the camera enters the trailer. Use the Sky Camera bracket as a template to mark the location of the bracket and the 1.75 inch hole. The location is one inch down from the top rail and 12 inches from the rear of the trailer as shown previously. Do not drill the hole yet. Drill a 1 4 inch diameter hole, 1 half inch deep, at the center of the 1.75 inch circle location. Use a drill stop to limit the drill depth to half an inch. Insert the 1 8 inch diameter probe into the 1 4 inch hole. If the probe contacts something inside the trailer before reaching a depth of 1 half inches, do not continue with the loaded install. The cargo is too close to perform a loaded install. Apply silicone sealant to the 1 4 inch hole as previously shown. If the probe does not contact anything before 1 half inches, then it is safe to perform the loaded trailer installation. If it is safe, install the camera on a loaded trailer. Apply duct tape around the hole saw to limit the cutting depth of 3 4 inch. Drill the 1.75 inch hole for the camera and remove any burrs. Prep the surface where the VHB tape will be mounted. First, clean with IPA solution. Abrade lightly with Scotch-Brite pad. Clean again with IPA solution. Prime with 3M Primer 94 and wait at least three minutes. Install the Sky Camera install tool into the hole. Remove the liner from all four pieces of VHB tape on the bracket. Align the camera hole in the Sky Camera mounting bracket with the tool. Ensure the bracket is vertical and press the bracket onto the trailer wall. Remove the Sky Camera install tool. Using the bracket as a template, drill the 8 3 16 inch rivet holes in the trailer wall. Use a drill stop to limit the hole depth to 3 4 inch. Install the 8 3 16 inch rivets. Using a hand driver, secure the sky camera to the bracket with four 1032 tamper proof screws. Important! Do not use power tools, must use a hand driver. Remove the barcode label and tape from the sky camera and install the barcode label on the front of the trailer next to the seven-way connector. Follow the steps on how to use the SkyBits SkyMobile app shown at the end of the video 
to complete the installation process and confirm the installation was a success. The SkyBit Sky Mobile Application Tool is available via download from the Play Store for Android devices or App Store for iPhones. Be sure to download Sky Mobile. SkyBits tools will not work for Sky Camera. If you have used SkyBits tools, your same credentials will work. Otherwise, to obtain credentials, please reach out to SkyBits customer care at 1-866-8-SKYBITS, 1-866-875-9248. Open the Sky Mobile app. If you have privileges to do installations for more than one customer account, you will see a list of customers. Tap on the desired customer account to reach the main menu. First, we pair the Sky Camera to the Connect. Tap on Sensors. Tap on Sky Camera. If the device asks to allow Sky Mobile to access the camera, please click OK. Enter or scan the serial number of the Connect tracking device on the trailer, or tap Asset ID to enter the trailer ID. After the serial number or asset ID is entered, tap Retrieve. Note, Connect may only have one paired Sky Camera. If a Sky Camera is already paired, you must first remove the pairing of the existing Sky Camera. Then you can proceed with the pairing of the new Sky Camera. Scan the serial number of your Sky Camera and tap Add Pairing. This logically pairs the Sky Camera to the Connect. Note, the system is first checking that this Sky Camera is not already associated to another Connect, and this Sky Camera is in this customer's account. If either of these conditions occur, Sky Mobile will present an error, and you'll contact Customer Care for resolution. The next screen will show you the serial number and asset ID of your Connect and Sky Camera serial number. Status will be Sensor Configuration Pending. Tap Initiate Configuration Update. Note, this causes the Connect to download the configuration parameters that allows Connect to talk to the Sky Camera. When the Sensor Configuration Download has been completed, you should no longer see the activity box. Tap Refresh to update the status. It should change to Sensor Configuration Active. Now, let's validate the Sky Camera installation. Close the trailer doors. Tap Submit Image Request. The app will display a message that it has initiated a request for an image. Tap OK. This process can take five or more minutes. You can go install another device and come back if desired. Note, if you installed another trailer while waiting for the image on the first trailer, from the installation screen, tap on the first trailer to return to the installation validation screen for the first trailer. Tap the button Request Image from the Server. If the image submission process is not complete, you may see Photo Not Available. If the image is available, the message Image Downloaded from the Server will be displayed. Tap OK and the image will be displayed. Note. The system will find an image for this pairing that occurred after the timestamp for the request image step. Date and time will be based on the local date and time of the mobile device. Tap Verify Image Quality button. To evaluate whether the image quality is good, can you see the front wall of the trailer? Can you see any portion of the door frame opposite to Sky Camera? Are there no jagged images due to cutting out a section of the inner wall? Is the image reasonably clear? not smudged, cloudy, or spotted? If the answer is yes to all the above questions, then the image quality is good, so tap yes in the dialog box. You'll see the message, this diagnostic image has been saved to the install list. Your image diagnostic is now complete. Tap OK to complete. Now on the installation screen, you should have a green check mark. The trailer is ready for service.